Hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a game between Tim starting in the upper left hand corner is the green Protoss. He's going up against Semi in the bottom left hand corner is the peach Protoss. This is on Vermeer. And it is the one of the first games from the upper bracket from Starcon in New York City. And probably there are spoilers out there. If you want to see the entirety of the stream, go ahead and check out Artosis and his video section. And it was an absolute blast. Incredible. I didn't get to cast everything I wanted to, though, because a lot of the guys didn't make it onto the mainstream. So here I'm going to try to cover as many of the games as possible. I don't have the full replay set, but I've got quite a few replays, and I think it should be able to highlight all the players. Semi's one of those guys I've been wanting to highlight for a while. First of all, shout out to him. He was the guy who arranged the Airbnb that was part of, which made the uh, which really made it a lot more affordable for me, honestly. If I was going to have to pay for a hotel, um, that might have... I've got a couple trips this year that have been a little bit expensive and so it was kind of pushing it out of the ah do i really want to pay for this sort of range or oh that's going to be really really pricey but he was absolutely incredible arranged the airbnb for us and it was great actually hanging out with him he is a really strong player made it pretty deep into ghostly league last season but i have not had an opportunity to cast him so we're going to see him in this match he's going up against tim who is i think evidenced that and i said this before where he started around 2019 playing this game and he is a really good example that you can start late and still do pretty pretty well he started yeah 2019 and is rocketed up he i try to remember i know he's played in bsl before did okay there but he is a newcomer to the scene and has been playing fantastic absolutely fantastic and is one of the stronger players here and really yeah i, I think artos has said it I think he also ASL starting again. He said it in the secret podcast, by the way. You get access to that if you uh, are a pa uh, patron, which is absolutely fun. But uh, he mentioned effectively that maybe four players are missing, four or five from the NA scene, and the rest of the top talent's all there. And I 100% agree with it. It was easily the lar maybe the largest gathering of talent ever, but certainly the largest uh, gathering of North American talent since the World Cyber Games days. Looks like Tim going for a clockwise scout is going to end up a little bit behind on resources because Semi sending out a later scout. Unfortunately for Tim, Semi going clockwise as well is going to come across Tim's base in first position. Both players dropping that cybernetic score. Initial Zealot constructed here. Initial Zealot also on the way for Tim. And Probe man managing to get up, sees the probes on gas. Nothing too crazy. Has spotted two pylons, which is just about what you expect at this stage. And that first Zealot getting to work, trying to chase down that probe. Cybernetic score was blocking behind the area, so wise of Semi to go ahead and engage in some nice micro from Tim already, or from Tim already boxing out that probe, getting good amounts of damage, and almost getting a third shot right there. In the meantime, Semi gonna hold the ramp, denying information absolutely huge in the early stages of the game. So let's see if he's able to pin this probe and take it out. Probe making its way out, taking two shots. It looks like it's gonna pull back. In the meantime, the Dragoon has spawned and going for a shot right there at a position where it might get boxed out across its own probe line one health left and that probe gets the kill at the end battle probes love to see it but that third pylon interior to base was spotted so right now tim in the dark semi with the information lead at the very least a dragoon making its way forward maybe to intercept an additional probe should it move out it looks like tim going to start he's probably going to want to make motions with this initial troop set because he wants to check whether that was one gate into expansion or not. So he might move with both that Zealot and that Dragoon. In the meantime, Semi doing the same, moving that Dragoon across the map to get a good look at the troop complement on the front, sees the Dragoon and the Zealot towards the front. That might lead him to believe that it's, well, actually going to have two Dragoons out here. He hasn't brought that Zealot out, so he's going to be at a deficit. He's going to have to be a little bit careful. He's opened up robotics facility, where it looks like Tim's opened up a second gate. So Tim going to be ahead in the overall troop count, but Semi potentially going to be ahead in the information battle and holding that ramp, getting some free shots on that initial Dragoon. That's gonna send Tim scattering back. One problem for Semi is since the Dragoon production is gonna be higher for Tim, he's gonna to have to be a little bit careful that he doesn't end up getting boxed out. Getting some significant damage on that one Dragoon will help towards that effort. Semi going ahead and backing out towards his natural expansion, dropping a second gateway himself. And actually the way this is panning out, Semi is, so he'll He'll be back a Dragoon or two, potentially, in one engagement, but after that, should be able to stabilize without too much trouble. He is dropping that robotic support bay that should lead to an earlier Reaver, so he might have a faster opportunity depending on when he builds a shuttle 
to push out versus Tim. Might get some harassment done. Tim's going to have to play a little bit more carefully. He's gone for a robotic facility as well. Right now, Tim with the forward position. And you can see where that second gateway really kicking in. Moving across the map, that's putting up two Dragoons. We've got four Dragoons and a Zealot. And unfortunately for Semi, he's keeping his Dragoons on the high ground. Maybe because he's trying to spot things out. And I think he might have seen those units making their way in. So he's going to retreat to the high ground. He is initially moving a probe back. Sees all those units and is drawing back as well. So Tim, he's going to have to fight uphill here. But he's be fighting uphill versus an even army. And that Observer, actually a Zealot ahead. And that Observer is going to be able to go ahead and crawl out. That is an indication if Tim sees it seeing that shimmer that his opponent in fact did go for that robotics facility so we'll have plenty of information to work with two more dragoons making their way out the observatory not yet online opposite side and it doesn't look look like we're seeing an initial shuttle being constructed or robotics facility pushing after this so i assume tim is going to want to expand he's in a great position right now because he's already fanned in that natural expansion it looks like he's made it a little bit in two additional dragoons making their way down and usually when you see two dragoons like this you know that it's still two gateways when you see the three dragoons making their way across oftentimes it's more of an indicator that you're going up against three but semi does have that reaver on the way if he's very very careful about this might be able to make his way out tim looking to see if he could draw some fire of the dragoons because if you can get a shot you can kind of get a peek onto that high ground but with that forward observer he has to be careful with this reaver needs to be babysit it really really carefully because sometimes that can get picked off but right now tim gonna go ahead and get that natural expansion up earlier because he's boxed semi out of his so reaver making his way down getting some pot shots tim going ahead and making his way out looks like he's gonna seed the low ground but this is where semi's gonna have some trouble getting these units and tim moving right back in is gonna pick off that reaver that was the one advantage that semi had semi trying to engage into this it looks like he might get a dragoon in exchange but tim will take that trade all day the zealot turning around to go ahead and blockade the rest of the army to make sure that that retreat can get to that low ground spoke a second reaver being built so this is going to halt any sort of counterattack that semi was able to leverage looks like he is going to drop that nexus but this is going to put tim way ahead economically because that nexus is coming online immediately he's already dropped a third gateway he's got his own robotic facility he's starting to build a reaver it's going to be a little bit delayed on that shuttle overall but that certainly is putting tim in a strong position he's also going to be able to build double the probes and it looked like he actually did a really good job of macroing behind this and keeping that probe count high in the meantime. So Observer being pushed back over that edge. So Semi also going to have trouble finding an entry point. He does need to get some sort of economic damage done. First Reaver, or I should say second Reaver out. Knowing that Spoke is clear, Semi's going to go ahead and make his way up. And what he can do is, is show his troops on the edge of this vision to try, try to draw them forward. Defensive pylon out there for Tim as well and maybe with drawing the troops forward he'll be able to go for a drop in the natural expansion to get some harassment and maybe even things up but Tim doing a great job of continuing man he's almost got 40 probes here Semi needs this to hit first one looks like it's going to be a dud second shot does manage to connect and it looks like it was a delayed response from Tim but even with that shot he's still several workers ahead now moving out into semi semi repositioning that reaver to the south this reaver out of the battle for quite some time so semi actually might end up in a good sit situation in this fight also several of the dragoons pushing out of position so semi able to get a lot of damage done keep in mind there's a big probe differential so semi with the significant army picks off the reaver right there and the shuttle is still healthy on the low ground second reaver on the low ground for tim might save this battle exchange is happening semi overextending a bit shuttle's gone actually so it looks like it's just going to be an army reset both directions Reaver trying to crawl out of it but Tim looks like he holds and with that he's still going to hold the advantage overall more Dragoons making their way forward but with that Reaver well planted the natural expansion is going to be okay looks like the Observer at least picked off so still needs to be another shuttle being built there still needs to be more damage out here for Semi but now Tim's going to have his shuttle out I believe yeah scooping out his Reaver which will make it a lot easier to defend this natural expansion he's also got that four gateway count ahead of semi two gateways coming online so tim just with some nice macro pulling ahead feeling comfortable enough to go ahead and grab his second gas a couple dragoons fanning out semi stationed on that lower spoke but right now tim actually has a superior army and semi moving forward a little bit out of position sees that shuttle making its way down is looking to intercept if he can get this kill that would be big shuttle takes some damage nice reaction time on tim to scoop it right back around 
So now we got several Dragoons waiting on that exterior. Something with the lower position. This could turn around for Tim if he makes a botched engagement and sends these troops without having them gathered towards that lower spoke. It looks like a Reaver complement looking to move forward for Semi to again try to get some additional economic damage done. Continue to pour the troops out out of those gateways. But right now, Tim, that economy's really kicked in. He's got his superior economy. Perfect timing with the move out. Able to get some additional probes right there that he actually evens up the worker count. Tim's still ahead in supply overall, but Semi, and also with that little bit of economic move out from the natural expansion, Semi might be able to have an opportunity to catch up if he can get just one more solid engagement. End up with a, a bit of a micro lead. He might be able to pull things back his direction. Starting to fan out, wants to run to that lower spoke, perhaps realizing it. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to be a second too late. And Tim has the high ground, and that shuttle was leading. So the shuttle taking damage loses both Reavers inside of that, and that's going to trigger an engagement from Tim. Tim now pressing into Semi. It is just the smallest of margins here. Yeah, just going to shove him back with that Reaver fire and getting a lot of damage on some fleeing Dragoons as well. So now that's maybe a game ending uh, maneuver. Losing those two Reavers is huge. Dragoons fanning out from both ends, wanting to pick off that shuttle and the Reaver if possible. Not able to do so. Tim very wisely dropping that ahead. Also able to pick off the Observer. So now Semi going to be backed off into his natural expansion. A Zealot marching forward. A couple of the Dragoons a little bit out of position, but that Reaver on the low ground going to take some pot shots. The rest of the Dragoons starting to filter in. And things looking grim for Semi right this second. As Tim pushing into that natural expansion, on top of that, he's going to have some shots he can take at the probe line. And yeah, t Semi at this stage just melting. It looks like that is going to be the game-winning maneuver for Tim. Huge explosion to the natural. And as soon as the Dragoons are gone, I'm expecting a GG. Yeah, there's a GG from Semi. So game one in the upper bracket opening match here going to Tim. It is, I think the game start off best of three. So we'll play it out from here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't see the initial event, granted there's spoilers as far as who advances and whatnot, go check it out on Artosis' main channel. It's It was an incredible event, really. And the games were insane. Every single game. I can't think of a game I, I casted that it wasn't just absolutely fantastic, and it was an absolute blast. So be sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.